it's Marjorie Busby. I'm back again with another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use the machine embroidery applique file to position multiple applique shapes on a single background. Let's get started. To demonstrate how we position applique shapes and use the placement line, I'm going to use a lunch bag that I'm making for my granddaughter. She lost her lunch bag on the first day of school and now she needs another one. These are the supplies that we'll be using. First of all is the lunch bag shell and I have fused some nylon trico interfacing to this. It gives it a little, it keeps the drape but it gives the fabric some body and that will be good for a lunch bag. Now I have my applique shapes already cut. The, I'm putting a dragonfly on this as well as the letter E and I use the AccuQuilt Go Critters die to cut the dragonfly and I use the Carefree Alphabet to cut her initial. I will need an air erasable or water erasable pen. I will also need either a glue stick or a glue pen. I will be using thumbtacks and pen anchors. You can see that I am just storing my thumbtacks in, on the pen anchors. And I'll be using an adhesive spray. And I think we're ready to start. Step one is to take the item or garment that you're going to be using and mark the position of the applique. Now this is a lunch bag so this purple area will be the bottom of the lunch bag and the sides will be folded under slightly. So I need to be sure when I'm placing my appliques that I don't uh, go over those bounds. I want it to be exactly in the center. I'm going to mark the center by just finger pressing so that I know where the center of my fabric is. And I'm just going to play with these shapes to decide where I want them. I'm using Glitter Flex applique uh, material which I got from Bonnie at So Inspired and this is just perfect for a little girl. All little girls love lots of glitter. Now let's just see where the best placement for this is. Okay, I think that this should work. I think that is approximately in the middle. All right, now that I know where my applique shapes are going to be placed, I need to mark their placement on this fabric. I'm just going to take this pen and this is going to be sort of like connect the dots um, when you get through. So I'm just in these very sharp points, I'm just going to put the tip of my pen. Can you see that? I'm going to mark the very tip top of the dragonfly's head and I'm going to mark the very bottom of the body and then I'm going to mark the tip of each wing. And now you can see um, it really does look like connect the dot. And I'm going to do the same thing on the E. I'm going to mark the tip of each E. I'm going to mark the top. I'm going to mark this outer edge. I'm going to mark that center and the middle there and the lower part of the E. And when I remove that, you'll see that I also have a connect the dot. Let me see if I can zoom it in for you so you can see all the dots I have. Now, I'm going to stitch my placement line onto the stabilizer. This placement line is not going to go 
onto the fabric yet. It will eventually go on the fabric, but for now, it's just going to go on the stabilizer. So we're going to hook the stabilizer. This is the next step. We're going to hook the stabilizer and take it to the machine and stitch the placement line for the dragonfly. I'm using a larger hook than is necessary, but this will help demonstrate for you. Um, the placement line has now been stitched onto the stabilizer. And so the next step is to match my dot to dot on the lunch bag to the dragonfly on the stabilizer. And to do that, I'm going to use some thumbtacks. So I need no more than three thumbtacks. And I am going to put those thumbtacks in three places. And I really do think that probably these two spots right beside the head and the bottom of the tail will be fine to match this up. Now sometimes if your thumbtacks have trouble holding, you can certainly add some tape over them. But the next step will be to spray an adhesive, a temporary spray adhesive, and I use the Sulky KK2000 and and it disappears after a day or so. I should be using a guard so that I don't stick, make my hook sticky. And now I want to match these dots. So just to see where those dots actually are, I'm going to put my dragonfly back on my fabric again. And I can see that these are the two um, dots here at the shoulder, so I'm just going to match that with the thumbtack, and I will match the second dot with the thumbtack, and I get those on, and go ahead and put my pin anchors on top of those. Actually, I can put one pin anchor on both of those. And then I want to make sure that the body is lined up. And so I'm going to smooth that fabric and line that up with that spot at the tail. And then I'll smooth my fabric all the way in all directions. And I'm ready to remove the pins now. Well, you can use pins or thumbtacks. I actually have been using thumbtacks lately. And go ahead and smooth that fabric a little bit more. And then you can hold it up to the light. And if you do that, you can actually see that dot to dot. You probably can't see it on the video but it's very easy to see exactly where that placement will be. Now the next step is to take this back to the machine and stitch the placement line again. So you're going to stitch the placement line onto the stabilizer first and then the next step is to position your fabric and then you will stitch the, the placement line again onto the background fabric. Now that the placement line has been stitched a second time, I'm going to use glue to attach this applique to the fabric before I fuse it. So I'm just going to use a glue stick and I like to just put it around the edges, sometimes a little in the middle. and. That will allow me to make sure that this dragonfly is in exactly the right place. And you can see that I work with this until I have it exactly the way I want it. And once that dragonfly is in place, 
I am going to cover it with my Teflon pressing sheet and I will use my mini iron to fuse it in place. Once that has been fused, I will take it to the machine and complete the embroidery. The first stitches that will stitch are tack down stitches and then after the tack down stitches are complete, it will go through the process of each embroidery stitch. Now we're ready to add the E to this lunch bag and we're going to do the very same thing a second time with our uh, pin anchors. We're going to turn and thumbtacks. We're going to look first at the lunch bag and we're going to match up and see where it would be best to put the thumbtacks and I can see that it would probably be better to maybe put one in the middle and uh, one at the either end of these. So let's just we have our hook turned over to the back side and I'm going to insert a thumb tack in either end and I'm going to insert a thumb tack in the middle and we will use our uh, spray adhesive again and match this up. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the thumbtacks or not, but on my lunch bag, you can see there's a dot here, and I'm going to match that dot and put a pin anchor over it. I'm going to match the second dot and put a pin anchor over that and then I'm going to match the center of my E and I'll smooth the fabric out in all directions. Go ahead and put a pin anchor over that and smooth the fabric out in all directions and once that fabric is attached with that spray adhesive it's very easy to go back in and remove those thumbtacks and smooth the fabric as much as needed. There's a few wrinkles there and so we want to make sure that we get those uh, taken care of. Now I'm going back to the machine and stitch the placement line a second time on the background fabric. All right, once again, you can see that we have this dot to dot where the uh, placement line absolutely matches the uh, dots that we created when we were setting our applique shape. Now, we want to again fuse this, and so I will put some glue on here don't need a lot for this because I'm going to fuse right away and I'm going to make sure that that letter fits just inside the placement lines and it does fit just perfectly. If you're concerned about uh, these marks from the air erasable pen or a water soluble pen uh, you certainly can uh, get one of the erasable pens or make sure that when you're marking that you get your marks up underneath uh, the shape. Generally, the applique will cover those marks, so it's really not a concern. All right, now we'll take this back to the machine and complete the applique stitch around the initial and this will be ready to sew into a lunch bag. And just think how much fun you can have. You can put any shape anywhere just by stitching your placement line onto the stabilizer 
and then creating your dot to dot for your shape and matching it up with thumbtacks and stitching again. I hope you enjoyed this and happy stitching.